The USB-C cable market is a mess. It's confusing, full of brands you've never heard of with specs that most people don't understand. I'm here to help demystify the landscape a bit to help you find a cable to meet your needs. Thankfully, USB-C cables are getting really good recently with great materials, high durability, fast charging speeds, and sometimes great data transfer speeds as well. Today, we're taking a look at three cables from Ugreen, a major manufacturer of charging products, including cables, power adapters, docks, and more. All of the cables we're reviewing today are capable of the newest USB power delivery 3.1 spec, which increased the maximum charging speed from 100 watts up to 240 watts. For most use cases, these 240 watt cables are overkill, since the majority of laptops today still charge at under 100 watts, and most phones are under 50 watts. But as more and more manufacturers continue to push the envelope with charging speeds, these numbers will continue to climb with time, and making sure you've got the capability now makes a lot of sense for the future. Even if you don't believe in future-proofing your charging cables, if you're planning to buy a new cable either way, investing in the latest spec can also help from a reliability and safety perspective, as this power delivery 3.1 standard necessitates the inclusion of what's called an e-marker chip. This little chip in your cable is used to communicate with the device that's being charged to identify the cable's capabilities and help ensure the charging is safe and reliable. If you're looking for a cable specifically for charging, whether it be for a phone, a computer, or some other device, you can just focus on the form factor of each of these cables since these all have the latest spec. The good news is that when you're focused on just charging, you can get great cables that are thin and flexible all without breaking the bank. If you're also looking to use your cable for high-speed data transfer, you'll want to pay attention to those specs as they can vary by model, and it's good to note that data transfer cables also tend to be thicker, stiffer, and more expensive. I previously made a video like this highlighting cables from Anchor, and the exciting thing about Ugreen is that they're pretty much all cheaper. The less exciting thing is that they're all black and silver. Plus, they don't have fun names like the Anchor products, so I'll be providing some fun names myself if there's another brand of cables that I should check out, let me know in the comments and I'll make another video like this. And now, let's jump in. Our first cable will be referred to as the basic cable. I'll link directly to it in my video description, and if you want to make sure you've got the right one, you can use the item number 90440. This is a nylon braided cable with an aluminum casing on the end, a bit of rubber to reinforce it, and an included Velcro cable tie. Ugreen rates the durability at 10,000 bends, which may sound high, but is actually on the low side of cable durability compared to some that I reviewed recently from Anchor. However, I should caveat that bends isn't an official metric with standard methods of testing, at least not that I'm aware of. So while it may be helpful across products in the same brand, it's tough to objectively evaluate these numbers across brands that may be testing their cables slightly differently. This cable is much more flexible than most cables you'll get included with your electronics purchases, but not as flexible as competitors like the Anchor Flow or Anchor Nano cables. Nonetheless, it feels very solid and high quality while not retaining its shape or feeling too stiff to use comfortably. For charging, this cable has the latest power delivery 3.1 spec that I described in the intro, giving it the ability to charge super fast at up to 240 watts, way higher than almost all devices are capable of today. For data transfer, it's only USB 2.0, meaning that it can transfer at 480 megabits per second, which is actually pretty darn slow. While it was capable of driving my ASUS monitor at 1080p 30Hz, it would not be capable of doing higher refresh rate displays and definitely not a 4K monitor. It also is able to transfer files, but just not at super high speeds. So for data transfer, it really comes down to your file size and frequency. If you are only transferring the occasional small file, a one gigabyte file, for example, only takes about 16 seconds. However, that adds up if you're doing it really frequently, and it really starts to add up if you need to transfer very large files, since one terabyte of data, for example, would take over four and a half hours. Yikes. This particular cable is 6.6 .6 feet in length, which is essentially two meters, and it costs $13.99. There is also a one meter version, which costs $11.99. This is a solid charging cable at a decent price. It's going to hold up better than what comes in the box for most of your electronics purchases, and it will be able to handle fast charging speeds for a long time to come. Next up is what I'm calling the Cool Square Design Cable, which has an item number of 45068. This is, once again, another nylon braided cable with aluminum end, though it's got two Velcro cable ties this time for some reason. 
The reason why I purchased this cable was to investigate the larger square end casing, and based on the fact that it's rated for 30,000 bends compared to 10,000 bends we just discussed on the previous model. The confusing thing is that I can't seem to identify much of a difference. If I really strain, it looks like the nylon braiding on the square model is slightly thinner and therefore more tightly woven. It also might be just ever so slightly stiffer, though I think you'd be hard pressed to notice any difference unless you were really looking for it. Based on how similar these cables seem, I can't for the life of me figure out how this cable is possibly three times more durable. If you've got ideas for a rationale, let me know in the comments. The end is unique looking with an oversized squared off casing with a very stiff rubber reinforcement at the end of the base. Perhaps that extra stiff part is where the durability comes in? I don't know. I think that the biggest concern with this cable is whether it will fit in all of your devices. It just barely fits in my current phone case, and I'm sure there are a lot of electronics out there with recessed charging ports where this simply will not work. The one that came to mind for me was the UE Boom 4, which once again, it just, just barely manages to fit. This cable has the same specs as the previous model that we reviewed, power delivery 3.1 with 240 watts of charging, and USB 2.0 with 480 megabits for data transfer. For the exact same 2 meter, 6.6 .6 foot length, it is $2 more at $15.99, plus $13.99 for the 1 meter model, and $11.99 for a smaller half meter or 1.3 foot version. I wouldn't recommend this as your one and only USB-C cable, given the likelihood of running into fit problems at some point in the future. I also question how the durability could be three times better than the previous cable we looked at, making me feel like either these numbers are wrong or the lower numbers on the other cable are wrong, unless there's some voodoo magic going on here that makes this cable stronger. Finally, this product is tagged on Amazon for frequent returns. For me, this doesn't make this product an immediate do not buy, but you should check the reviews yourself before purchasing. All I notice personally are some people getting defective cables, which could realistically happen, and even some talking about the data transfer rates being slow, but you watched this video, so you already know that this particular cable is not optimized for transferring data. Honestly, when I ordered this, I expected to notice a bigger difference as it relates to the build quality and durability. Instead, I'm kind of left scratching my head a bit and having trouble coming up with a reason to buy this over the cheaper basic cable. So unless you really like the cool square design, you're probably better off just sticking with the basic. For the third and final cable, we have the code name of Powerful and an item number of 80150. This is the one you're looking for if you need a data cable, but unfortunately, there are some trade-offs. This cable maintains the same charging specs, power delivery 3.1 for the same 240 watt charging speed, but it adds in USB 3.2 Gen 2, ridiculous name, but what it means is that you get 10 gigabit per second data transfer speed compared to those 480 megabit per second. That means that this cable is far and away the fastest cable on the table today, and you can transfer files about 20 times faster than these other cables, transferring a terabyte in minutes rather than hours, and fully capable of 4K video. The cable itself is once again nylon braided with an aluminum case. The shape of the end is very similar to the basic model, though it's a bit thicker and more rounded. The cable is rated for 20,000 bends, putting it squarely in the middle of the other two, it feels noticeably thicker and stiffer, though honestly, not as stiff as I expected for a data cable. It definitely retains its shape more than the other two cables, but not by much. It's pretty impressive as far as high-speed data cables go. At the moment, it appears that this cable is only available in this one meter version. There is no included cable tie, just some twist ties that you'll probably just throw away. For a three foot cable, this isn't too big of a concern, but it is a bit unusual given that this is the most premium cable that we have here. This one meter cable comes in at $16.99, a good bit more than the other cables, though for good reason given its data capabilities. There's really no reason to buy this cable unless you plan to use it for some sort of display or data transfer purposes. If you're strictly looking to charge devices, the other two will handle those needs with a better, more flexible cable feel and at a lower price. If you need a USB-C display cable or you need to transfer data though, this is a pretty good option. It's not the absolute fastest out there. For that, you should seek a USB 4 cable, but it's reasonably priced, not too stiff, and looks nice. As long as you're okay with it being on the shorter side, it's a good buy. To recap, most people simply looking for a charging cable should go with the basic cable. It's the cheapest one while still offering everything that you need. 
If you're really keen on the square design, you can go with this one, but otherwise you should probably just skip it. And finally, if you need a data transfer cable or a display cable, this is a good one, as long as you're okay with the length and understanding that it's not going to have the maximum specs on the market today. Hopefully that has helped you to understand the Ugreen product lineup just a little bit better than before. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more from Ugreen, you can check out this review of their two-in-one folding wireless charger. It won't charge as fast as these cables, but it's Qi 2, so it's still pretty quick. Thank you so much for watching. Click my face if you want to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.